Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and as I'm recording this, I have passed the 100 subscriber mark on YouTube, which is insane. It's funny because like a week and a half ago, I was at like 31 subscribers, and then out of nowhere, I just, YouTube decided to give me a bunch of views and subscribers, which is kind of funny, but it's cool. So I thought as like a 100 subscriber special, I'd show you guys my top 10 favorite demons that I've beaten. Uh, so keep in mind, I've beaten 115 demons. So these top 10 are like very high quality levels. So let's just get into it. Coming in at number 10 on this list is Death Moon by Caustic. This is actually the only XL level on this list. I've only beaten like three XL demons. Anyways, Death Moon is a very cool classic 1.9 level. Despite its length, the gameplay is actually very easy and understandable, making it super approachable for players at the easy demon level. This is one of those levels that I've known about for a long time. This is a very special level for me and definitely deserves the number 10 spot. Next up, we have my favorite 9 circles level, Jawbreaker by Zenthic Alpha. This is another level that I saw EUW back do back in the day and it intrigued me. I wasn't at the skill level to beat it yet, so I ended up beating it 3 years later in 2018. One of the reasons I like this level is the color. I feel like blue goes really well with the nine circles style and it looks more appealing than the other circles levels like Problematic and Poltergeist and of course the original nine circles. Anyway, this level definitely deserves my t number nine spot. The number eight spot goes to Space Locked by Laser Blitz. I absolutely love Laser Blitz's levels and you'll see a few more of his levels higher up on this list. This is actually one of my biggest achievements on mobile. Laser Blitz is amazing at making good deco and good gameplay. I especially love his asymmetrical dual gameplay, which is kind of what he's known for. And this level is certainly not an, an exception to this. Space Locked has amazing de deco, especially for its time, and has very unique dual gameplay. That being said, this level gets the number 8 spot. Next up, we have another Laser Blitz level, Hyperspace. This level is actually my biggest achievement on mobile. I personally think it's harder than Chaotic Hell, The Caverns, and Toe 2v2, which are all other big achievements I have on mobile. This level I like slightly more than Space Locked, because the design in Deco I like a little more, and I think the dual gameplay is slightly more complex and unique. This level also has a very cool boss fight at the end, which I luckily didn't die to when I was beating it originally. This level certainly deserves the number 7 spot on this list. Coming in at number 6, we have the first insane demon on this list, Edo by Zobros. I absolutely love the ship and UFO gameplay in this demon. It's very satisfying to play and gets very fun and consistent once you get good at it. The jump orb timings at the beginning sync incredibly well to the song, which I love. I beat this level shortly after I got back into GD earlier this year, but I unfortunately wasn't recording. I'm actually considering rebeating it for a future video. But anyways, this level is my 6th favorite demon that I've beaten. Kicking off my top 5 is a classic 1.9 insane demon, Supersonic by Zenthic Alpha. Now I don't have a whole lot to say about this level other than the fact that the song goes incredibly well with the gameplay. I also think this level is a very good gateway demon. Supersonic is one of those levels that will test your skill and consistency and once you beat this you'll be more prepared to beat harder insane demons and maybe even extreme demons. Supersonic definitely deserves to be in my top 5. At number 4 we have my favorite V2 level, Theory of Everything 2 version 2 by Neptune. This is another one of those demons that I saw at EVW playing back in 1.9 and of course I wanted to try it myself. Obviously I wasn't at the skill level yet so I came back to it in late 2017 when I got, my, when I got back into the game and I beat in under a thousand attempts. Anyways, this level is very satisfying once you get the parts down and you start to get consistent at it. This level takes my favorite Rob Top Demon, Theory of Everything 2, and makes it even better. Just like Supersonic, this is one of those gateway levels that will test your skill, especially Wave, and will get you ready for harder demons. This is a very special level to me and deserves the number 4 spot. Starting off my top 3, we have Quest for Perfection by Laser Blitz, which is currently my hardest demon. This is easily the best Cataclysm remake. They got rid of that cancer straight fly in the middle of the level, they made the first wave slightly easier, and they added a fun duel part at the end. Apparently this duel is a major choke point for people, but I was lucky enough not to die there when I beat it. 
I also really love the decoration and style of the subtle. All this being said, Quest for Perfection is my third favorite demon. My second favorite demon is the Robotic Rush by Andromeda. What makes this level so special to me is that literally the first EVW video that I ever watched was him doing this level. I had no idea who he was when I watched this that video for the first time, and now the fact that I'm still watching him six years later is just crazy. That aside, this level is very fun. It's a very approachable, easy demon that I highly recommend if you've done levels like the Nightmare or Club Step. The deco isn't spectacular, but it's alright. The gameplay I really like, though, especially the asymmetrical duel at about 60%. All this being said, this is a very special demon to me, and it gets the number 2 spot on my list. And finally, my favorite demon out of the 115 that I've beaten is Ultra Drivers by Laser Blitz. To me, this level is as close to perfect as any demon can get. The gameplay is amazing, it has very unique dual parts, the deco is pretty good, and it's just all in all an amazing level. This is another one of those levels that I found out about after watching EVW beat it. I beat this level shortly after Space Locked and it took me about 2,000 attempts, which was actually really good for my standards at the time. Laser Blitz has made many amazing levels, but this one takes the cake for me. All this being said, Ultra Drivers is my favorite demon.